As a mother of three girls and an advocate for women's empowerment, there are some basic things we can all do as parents or guardians to help keep our daughters safe. For some basic tips, stay tuned. Welcome back. In today's video, we will cover some basic things all parents or guardians out there can do to help keep your daughters a little safer, aware and confident. In case you are new here, my name is Ma'am Cheryl Sanders and I am one of two co-founders of Empowered alongside Master Jonathan Field. We at Empowered strive to help women and young girls build confidence and find their inner strength through empowerment and defense training. Make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos that we publish on Mondays and Fridays. Now let's get to it. Number one, work on keeping an open line of communication with your daughter. This can be difficult or sometimes overlooked, as we all know how chaotic and scheduled life can get. Set time aside regularly to check in with your kids. Keep an open mind and show patience. It can be difficult for them to talk about their relationships and worries. Sometimes chatting while out for walk, cooking, working outside, or doing something where they're engaged can sometimes help them open up if you sense something may be troubling them. Number two. You should encourage your daughter to be physically active and stay fit, regardless of their current fitness level. Allow them to try new sports, groups, and fitness programs. This allows them to build confidence and inner strength. Number three, encourage them to learn self-defense through self-defense workshops or a martial arts program at a reputable school. This can be a fun activity for both you and her to enjoy. I've trained alongside many families, including my own. It can be a bonding experience and make relationships stronger. Learning self-defense or a martial art will build confidence that will follow your child throughout their life. Before we get to number four, make sure to leave a comment below and let us know if you are liking these videos and what topics you want us to cover next. Okay, now for number four. You and your daughter should have a way to get in contact with each other at all times in case of emergencies. If your daughter carries a smartphone, be sure she has your cell number, work, home, and an alternate contact number saved. We often text more than call these days and it can be easy to forget phone numbers. It may also be beneficial and give you peace of mind to save emergency numbers such as your local fire, police, and hospital as well. Number five. As hard or awkward as it may be, talk to your daughters about relationships, drugs, alcohol, and intimacy. As mentioned earlier, keep an open mind and be patient. These can be very difficult subjects for your kids to talk about. Even if they don't have much to say, they are listening. Remind them that you are there for them if they have any questions or concerns or just need an ear to listen. Number six, make sure you know who your daughter's friends are and who she's hanging out with. Make your home a place where your daughter's friends are welcome to come over and hang out. You should also know the names and contact info of their closest friends in case of emergencies. Number seven is to monitor your daughter's online activities. You should know who she's talking to online and what type of websites and social media she's using. Let her know that you respect and trust her privacy, but just want to make sure she's safe. There is a lot of bad people that use the internet and social media to lure and prey on others. Now, if you found today's video helpful and you want to learn more, check out the video on your right and consider picking up your copy of Empowered at womenempowermenttraining.com. And remember, you have the right to defend yourself and you are worth defending.